English has long been the most common second language in the world. Let's take a look at how the language is taught and learned here in South Korea. English in Korea is taught at a rather young age. Many parents tend to invest a lot of money and time on their children so they can attend English kindergartens. And some also hire English tutors to help their children pass the level test needed to go to such facilities. However, there are other educational institutions like LSY Education Institution for Gifted Children that offer English education that focus on language acquisition without a competitive element. Teachers here say that they try to make an environment where students can be exposed to and sample different types of authentic English. For you, what was difficult? I found that it was hard to make 45 degree wedges because if I take 45 degree wedges a few minutes later... Yeah, um, I see them getting more confidence because sometimes in the beginning they're very shy, but like, you know, like a little, like a muscle, <laughs> but they need time to open up. But with the right language to help them do that, they can, they can actually gain confidence. Even with this science class, sometimes the point is not actually succeeding, it's actually gaining confidence. And the same goes for language, I think. Younger children who are five to six years old also get the chance to learn English, but through a mixture of their mother tongue, Korean. I've seen some younger kids develop tics like blinking or coughing when they are forced into an environment where they don't understand the language. I used to work at an English kindergarten, and it was sad to see that this was the case. Here, we try to help kids develop confidence first in their mother tongue and then combine English in conversations when they are ready. One parent says she believes learning a second language like English is necessary for her child's future. A lot of mothers want the best for their children's future, and I want them to live a free life. However, we can't achieve that without taking challenges and experiencing failure. In order to take in challenges in life and dream big, I think acquiring a second language is critical. We teach English, but we only provide education to children who are comfortable with their mother tongue. Our teaching is based on using the five senses. It's not based on memorizing, but focus on making children understand the language through action.